So, so this is our last lecture, and uh, you have a pendulum. Let's run this thing. Uh, I think I use the forward roller and uh, uh, the midpoint rule, right? Okay. Guess it's running. Right, the midpoint row is the red one, the forward roller is the blue one. As you can see, the error just goes large pretty much exponentially. Uh, zoom in into here. Right, uh, yeah, the error just uh, goes larger and larger pretty quickly. Initially, it's pretty small uh, and uh, just uh, goes larger. It's the phase is off and ultimately it goes over the top and uh, just diverges. <laughs> All right. So that's the behavior of the forward roller on this system. So how does the pendulum system relate to this analysis? So let's um, perform this analysis to a linear ODE system. Okay? If you have a linear ODE system, and uh, uh, remember we can we can write the actually the linearized pendulum system. U double dot equal to minus uh, what was it? G over L times U, right? Uh, let's just write it as theta. Okay. Alright. And this is the linear system. So, so the nonlinear system actually relates to this linear system through a linearization. If you remember, when we have a nonlinear differential equation, basically we look at dfdu, and the dfdu becomes like our linearized, becomes the lambda in our linearized system. So, so if we have this and we write x, we define x as theta and the theta dot, then we have dx dt equal to theta dot and theta double dot, right? Which is equal to, I just write theta dot and the minus g over L times theta. That's actually equal to a matrix times my x. And what is that matrix? Zero, one, uh, minus zero, one right. And uh, minus g over L, zero. All right. So, if I take the, this matrix as A and perform eigenvalue analysis of A, what do I get? Eigenvalue analysis is basically lambda i minus A determinant equal to zero, right? So basically lambda, uh, I put lambda over here, what I get is lambda square plus g over L has to equal to zero. So lambda would be equal to plus minus g over L square root times i, right? That means if I decouple these two, uh, if I decouple the x by performing linear combinations of theta and theta dot, what do I need to do in the? I mean, you, you can you can figure out the linear combination yourself. I think it's just uh, you have to perform not only eigenvalue analysis but compute the eigenvectors of this matrix A to figure out what are the linear combinations, right? But then you're gonna you're gonna find two scalar ODEs, one with the lambda of plus square root of g over L times i, one with the negative of that. Yeah. So. In the real, uh, in the imaginary plane, you have, so this is uh, uh, imagine lambda, real lambda. You have an eigenvalue here, an eigenvalue here. Yes. Remember for the order, the stability region is a circle, right? That is kind of tangential to the imaginary axis. So these two points, no matter what delta t you use, is going to be outside the stability region of forward Ola, right? Forward Ola has a stable region here. So that's why forward Ola was a terrible scheme, right? For the pendulum system. Okay, any questions? Yeah? No? Okay.